Hi there, good morning. Welcome to KC Video Devotionals for Couples. Today is the 15th of June. My name is Omi Elizabeth. Today, our topic will be how to maintain the spiritual glow as a couple. One of the most difficult things to do is to try to maintain the spiritual glow now that you're married. Before marriage, my husband would read about 40 chapters of the Bible, pray in tongues for us, and practice the presence of God. Apart from the fact that he is a pastor and must study and pray, all those times given to reading 40 chapters are no longer there. When you're a married couple, your time just seems to be shared. It is no longer your time. The home is there. The kids are there to take care of. Responsibilities keep piling up. And you just have your 24 hours in a day to maintain all that balance. With maturity comes the ability to do a lot of things together at once. It is called multitasking. As a woman, if you don't know how to multitask, you have not yet started, especially if you are a career woman. If you have a job you do, I mean 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. job like I do, and you don't have a name, you had better know how to multitask. And if you have a ministry and God's people to oversee multitasking is a must skill. You have to learn to continually maintain the spiritual temple, not only for yourself, but of your home. I'm not there yet, and I have to repent sometimes of not doing what I should be doing in terms of spiritual activities. But I just come to terms that what has to be done must be done. So my daily reading of God's word, my daily prayers, and my daily confession must be observed no matter what. So you must make a quality decision to make your spiritual glow a priority. Meditation for the Second Samuel 22, verse 33, KJV translation. God is my strength and power. He maketh my way perfect. Prayer for the day. I receive wisdom from above in the name of Jesus. I receive help from above in my marriage in the name of Jesus. Father, help us to be consistent in our fellowship with you. Confession for the day. God's grace is upon my marriage. I receive strength. I receive the grace to be consistent in my work with him. I get closer to the Holy Spirit. I receive wisdom to strike the balance between meeting the needs of my family and my fellowship with God. My marriage will flourish. Amen. Action plan for the day. Create a time when you and your spouse pray together. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandus.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage. And these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandobs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibada, we'd like you to watch it with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road, in the city of Ibada. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You'll have a lot of resources for your soul.